Alright guys, this is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, video number 6. Let's get going. So in the last video we got Cerulean City, explored Cerulean City, all of that. And we actually battled Misty, but lost. Um, so, in this video... Let me, let me look at my party real quick, make sure that they're all good. Yeah, they're all good. So in this video, um, I'm actually going to do what I really should have done before battling Misty and go up routes, I think it's 24 and 25, and uh, go see Bill. So, we're going to do that now. What is he doing? Okay. Yarg. He's such a weirdo. <clears throat> so you may have noticed that I uh, actually moved Onyx to the front of my team because we, you always battle the rival here and they always start off with the Pidgey. So I thought Onyx would be a good one to, to come at him with. And, um, oh, of course, they avoid the attack and then use Sand Attack. So I, I made an executive decision that I am going to go ahead and use Onyx on my team. I've never used an Onyx before. I don't think just even playing just regular, like not on YouTube. So this should be fun. So we'll see how far I can get using Onyx here on this little, uh, on this little excursion up these roots here. Wait, what is he gonna use? I didn't even I didn't even see what he's gonna use. Uh, I'll keep battling. Oddish. Oh crap, yeah I should have switched out. Um Yeah, let me switch out to duh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! I can try the new move. That was awesome. <laughs> Next is Pikachu. Um, yeah, actually, I will switch back into Onyx for this one. Alright, so let's go ahead and do the rock throw again. I mean, rock throw isn't super effective, but it's his best move. I need him to learn a ground type move, really, before I decide to go battle Lieutenant Surge. Is rock throw really not going to, like, do anything for me? Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that looked like it hurt. Um... <laughs> Yeah, let's just keep doing rock throw. Shoot. Or maybe I'll do rock throw this la this one time and then I'll do rage. Is, is this why I don't ever use Onyx? Because he has a bad moveset? Um, rage. Oh, don't I have the TM for headbutt? I should totally teach that to Onyx. Alright, you know what? This is, uh, this is gonna take too long. Um, we're gonna go with Duh. Yeah, I do need to teach Onyx Headbutt. Um, and Duh will just use Quick Attack. Yeah. Do you now? Do you really feel calmer? Because you don't look calmer. You look like you're about to go, like, I don't know. Uh. 
don't freak out when you hear this. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah. Let me see if I can teach him TM case. I just have headbutt and payday. Magic Carp's the only one who can't learn it. Um, bind or rage? Maybe bind because in the in the like just the right situation, rage can actually do pretty good. So, all right, we've we've taught Onyx how to use headbutt, so hopefully. That will be. That'll be a good move for him to know, for these, uh, for the rest of this little thing here. So this is a bug catcher, and he has been in that. Um, we'll go with Onyx. Oh, and it's a bug type, so actually, Rock Throw would be good to use here. It's super effective. Um, let's see what Headbutt does. I think Headbutt actually does more damage than Rock Throw, but it won't give you the stab. But it did, it did, it did pretty good, so. Three Pokeballs, or, you know, he just sucks, you know, either, you know, whichever one it may be. going to go into EV here. Yeah, it's a good thing I did that. Um, let's see here. EV will go ahead and use quick attack on this duck. Dang! Quick attack again. That little Eevee, though, you do some damage. I don't know, maybe you just suck. Alright, three Pokeballs. Moving on. <sighs> it's getting late. It's getting late, I tell you. Well, not really. Well, a little bit. I have to get up early tomorrow. <laughs> Alright, so here we have Sandshrew. Um, so this isn't the best matchup for me, actually, because Onyx is weak to ground-type Pokemon. But I don't think Sandshrew at this point really has any good ground-type moves, so... Well, okay, he has Sand Attack. And that Headbutt didn't really do much, either. Okay, this is... Okay, yeah. He avoided it, and now he's using... Sand Attack again. Let's go ahead and just... Do this. <clears throat> Poison Sting shouldn't be very effective. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and use Vine Whip. That should be extremely effective. Kablam. <laughs> Alright. $200 and three Pokeballs.
<clears throat> Meowth, it says. Let's see. If I use Rock Throw, let's see what that does compared to Headbutt. Okay, about the same, actually. Um, rage. I'm gonna rage on this thing. Alright. I was like, I hope that knocks it out. It's a matter of conserving PP at this point. Yeah, I just said that. That's funny, because according to number three, I stomped him flat. Camper Kevin. And the Gravelin. Oh, this is too perfect. This is too perfect. Growlithe is actually a pretty good Pokemon, so maybe, just maybe, I'll actually get some pretty good... Oh, okay. I was going to say, maybe I'll get some pretty good experience for taking this thing out. But... That's if I take this thing out. Um, rock throw. Let's see, does he learn rock slide in this game? I'm trying to think. Have I... I don't think I've seen any, like, new attacks in this game. Oh my goodness, the burn. Well, on it. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. And it was so close to leveling up too. Dang. And I was all like talking, talking up about oh, <laughs> the experience I'm gonna get when I take this thing out. Uh. -oh. can't have Onyx not be, like, alive right now, so, um, no, no helping hand. So I actually am going to run back to the Pokemon Center, um, to get healed up. I don't know if I'll, like, continue to use Onyx, but I want to at least have Onyx not fainted. So that Onyx can uh, earn experience in this video. We hope to see you again. Okay, so, um, I don't know if I want to have Onyx up front anymore. We'll put him right there. We'll put Bellsprout up front. Slow. Hey, I got a nugget. Oh, snap. I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Okay, I guess I guess this is trying to tell me to, to switch to the other Joy-Con. I thought I was charging this all day today. Did I do it wrong? <laughs> oh, 
of course. That would have been like the perfect one to use a uh, Onyx against. Um, let's see. Does Zubat know like Wing Attack already? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. Onyx. How did Onyx outspeed that thing, seriously? Um, headbutt. There we go. Onyx is... Doing good. Um, let's see here. Coughing, poison type. Um, I'm going to switch actually. Into duh. Just because I think I think Eevee will do a better job, honestly. <clears throat> okay. Let's do the sizzly slide. The sizzly slide. Kaboom. And he's burned. Oh, that's like a guaranteed burn, isn't it? Okay, uh, we are gonna go ahead and use the quick attack here. Just to get that out of the way. Am I, or do you just suck? <clears throat> oh, you know what it was? I actually turned off the switch yesterday, as opposed to just putting it in sleep mode. I bet that's why this didn't charge. Like, I remember when I was younger, and like I was playing this game, like when this guy said, I saw your feet from the grass, I thought he was literally talking about like like my feet, like my my two feet, F E E T. <laughs> but no, he was talking about my like my feet over on uh, Nugget Bridge. Well, that kind of sucks. The growl. Let's see, hopefully, I'll still be able to do some pretty good damage against this little thing. Ew. Okay, well, at least I got the flinch. Uh, let me see what Rock Throw does. Of course it did. He's gonna keep using. Oh. Why does he keep avoiding the attack? <clears throat> yeah, all them growls you're using on me. Ugh. I need to come up with, like, I don't know, a way for Onyx to be stronger. <laughs> Maybe once Onyx is able to learn, like, better moves? I don't know. I, I don't know. Is, is Onyx a Pokemon I should even use? I don't know. Just, 
the the Geodude line used to be like my go-to in these games. Um, Geodude and Dugtrio, but I'm actually using both of them. What what was that? Oh, Meowth. I'm actually using both of them in my uh, the other Let's Plays that I'm doing right now. So I would feel weird using using one or either of them in this one. That didn't do anything. Great. <clears throat> ah. There we go. Alright, look at that. Metro Carp's at level 11. <clears throat> oh, I should have read the description. I just, like, buzzed through that real quick. Oh, look, a Psyduck. Wait, do I have one of these already? I don't think I do. Great again. Come on, first throw. We got this. We got this. Oh, okay. Never mind. I know. We're going to try this again. Excellent. Uh, I believe, doesn't the excellent throw, like, make it, like, yeah, I was going to say, I think throwing an excellent throw, and even a great throw, kind of in cheeses, increases the chance of actually catching it. Bell sprout and da done bit leveled up. Poison powder. Let's see, he just learned sleep powder in the last video. Um, should I have him forget rap? It doesn't really do much. Ugh. Actually, no, cause I. Uh, I kind of like having that attack there, even though it's not a great attack. Uh, I keep old moves. What would be really nice is if Onyx wanted to learn, like, Earthquake or Stone Edge right now. Does Stone Edge even exist in this game, though? I'm not sure. Um, we got this little Pidgey flying around here. Excuse me, Pidgey. Who are you? Mmm, <clears throat> okay. So I need to catch 50 Pokemon in order to get this Charmander. Um, I don't quite have that many yet. But it won't be long. Because I'm going to start right now with this Pidgey. <laughs> uh. Oh, that was bad. How did I even do that? Oh. Come on. Ah, oh, come on. I'm going to try one more time. Dang, look at all those excellent throws. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. So will this, like, tell me, like, how many Pokemon I have? Alright, probably not. Um... But the item here, though. X special defense. Oh. Come on. 
Let's get that first throw bonus. <sighs> Didn't throw it soon enough there. Not gonna get the excellent throw. Alright, gonna try one more time again. Third time's a charm. Never mind. Okay, um, moving on. Oh! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this, I swear. Alright, Raspberry. And you know what? I'm I'm not I'm not messing around here either. I am not gonna mess around with this thing. I want this thing. Ah. Oh. Great. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. <clears throat> Shoots water at prey while in the water while in the water, which draws into its shell when in danger. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even know you could find Squirtle here. That's like awesomely random. What else can you find here? Huh. Hey, did you know you could fight Squirtle here, dude? You just got down from Mount Moon and you're already way the hell over here? Okay. Um, well, so much for my shorter videos, right? I was talking in the last video, I was like, yeah, you know what? Uh, videos two, three, and four were each like over forty minutes, and I'm I'm gonna try and uh, you know do shorter videos, you know, to to kind of you know make it a little bit better. But no, apparently not. <laughs> this is gonna probably be all over forty minutes. Oh well. So that Onyx is faster than Bell Sprout, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna let it happen. So, I don't know. Should I stick with Nidoran? Because like, before I was like, I was pretty like, set on, like, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use Nidoran, I'm not gonna actually use Onyx. But, uh, I don't know, cause Onyx. Oh, it's a meow. Cause uh, Onyx isn't really. Uh... Onyx is disappointing me a little bit. I mean, I okay, yeah, it's it's lower level, but oh, I I didn't mean to do that. Well, I might as well try and catch it while I'm here. Well, but not with the Great Ball. Um, Onyx is uh, not really living up to my expectations. Yes, it is a lower level, but. Uh... I just, um, I feel like even at that, you should be able to attack better. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I will end up using uh, Nidoqueen as my ground type and poison type. But then, that would also mean that I shouldn't use Bellsprout. Uh, but I have time to figure out my team. I have time. Maybe... Venonat. Maybe this is where I finally use Arcanine. Well, I don't know. Is Arcanine the version exclusive in this one, or is it Vulpix? Oh, look at that. Look at me actually, like, throwing it to the side. Come on, come on, come on. Ah.
There we go. Got a internet. I don't know. Part of me still really wants to use the bell sprout, so I may have to come up with. Uh... Because <sighs> if I use the Nidoran, I can't use Onyx or Bell Sprout, because then I'd have two poison types. I mean, I guess I could, but I don't know. I just don't want to have two poison types on my team. Um... <clears throat> Was he really facing that way the whole time? How 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 did I not how did he not see me like the first time I came through here? Uh, look, he has a Weedle on his shirt. Let's see, what are other ground types in this game? He's gonna keep using the sand attack. I, I need to get this vine whip off like now. Ugh. Tuh, finally. But then again, the duck trio that I'm using in my other let's play is the Alolan duck trio. So, maybe I can use a duck trio here. Regardless, I should probably catch one to use in the gym battle with Lieutenant Surge. Or, or, I could go with Rhydon. I have never used a Rhydon before. And I could evolve it to Rhyperior. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's okay. Um, we're actually gonna switch here because I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So I'll stick with Bell Sprout. I won't use Onyx or Nidoran. I'll use Rhydon. I have no idea. It, uh, a lot could change between now and then. Let's see here, the sizzly slope, or the sizzly slide. That's an awesome move to have, like at this stage in the game, honestly. A 90 power move that's guaranteed to burn. I mean, shoot, a lot of times the burn doesn't even like Oh. Oh, I like Stun Spore. Maybe this is where I say, yes, forget rap. Because paralyzing, that comes in handy. <clears throat> Magikarp slowly but surely getting up there. Okay. Yes, we will battle. There's a lot of battling to be done between now and Lieutenant Surge, isn't there? We have the whole SSN. I always forget about the SSN in these games somehow. Hmm. I actually will switch. So I'll keep the Onyx in my party to see if maybe it'll learn, maybe maybe it'll at least learn my, like magnitude or something by the time we get to the surges. But, uh, dang. Switch. 
Why does he make that sound when he goes back? He, he's like, it's like he's hurt or something. Okay, we'll use Vine Whip here. Didn't do anything. Oh, but it made me flinch, okay. <laughs> Just didn't do anything. Uh, okay. Dang! That Reddit never stood a chance. <clears throat> You're not mad? Okay. Whatever you say. It's off to see the Pokemon Fanatic at the Cape. Hiker Knob. Geodude. Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. So, it's probably going to be a while before I, like, get my permanent ground-type Pokemon. I always like using a ground-type in these games. So, what do you guys think? Should it... Should it be right on? I don't know. Um, what was he going to use? I, I didn't even see. Oh, Machop, okay. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I'm, I'm using Geodude Golem right now in, an, in another Let's Play that I'm currently doing. So I, I don't know, I feel like I shouldn't use one of those again. And then I'm also using freaking <laughs> Doug Trio in a Let's Play that I'm doing right now. The Lolan Doug Trio, but still. Doug Trio nonetheless. So I don't know. I feel like either one of those I shouldn't really use because then I would be like repeating myself. But. Then again. They are kind of like the main ground types. And if I do end up using uh, Rhydon, I don't think I can actually catch him until the Safari Zone in Fuchsia City. So I'd have to wait at least three badges? At least five badges. Well, no, because I guess I could go to Fuchsia City right after the Rainbow Badge, right? I don't have to battle... Sabrina first. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Ooh, Peck. That's going to be super effective. Dang. Uh, yeah. One more attack from that Goldeen will take me out, so let's do this. He's got to walk forward far enough so I can go back there and get that item. <laughs> Squirtle. Oh, I totally forgot to use the potion. And it, like, just happened too. Alright, let's see if this will, like, knock him out. Oh, not quite. And But that'll knock me out right there. Okay. Yeah, figured. Oh, that sucks. That actually really does suck. I I, I don't know why I even attacked there. I should have just used the item. Uh And I uh I really don't want to have to run all the way back to the freaking Pokemon Center, but I don't want to use have to use one of those revives either. Uh I'll I'll use a revive probably. Because 
I don't want Bellsprout to miss out on the experience that these next few battles will bring either. So... Thunder Wave. Ether. Alright, let's do this then. Uh, let's go ahead into the bag. And... Oh, I have four. Why did I think I only have two? I have four. Okay. And then we'll also go ahead and use a potion on Bellsprout just to kind of get its HP back up to snuff. Back up to par, so to speak, as they say. Are you the last trainer? Oh, well. Oh, and doesn't she have all the, the grass-type Pokemon, too? Or... Yeah, well, she does have an Oddish. But I seem to remember there being a trainer here towards the end of this route that had, like, just, uh, like, Oddish and Bellsprout and Oddish and Bellsprout and, like, an Ivysaur. Um, well, obviously, this is gonna just be, like, a standstill right here, so... Um, well, we'll go ahead and send in uh, Eevee. Um, Sizzly Slide. That's cool that Eevee can learn like moves like that. I wonder if Eevee and Pikachu's stats for this game were like increased. What did it say it was going to use? A Pidgey? Oh, I'll keep battling regardless. Yeah, Pidgey. Okay. Because I feel like Eevee is like by far my strongest Pokemon. And Eevee is not like one of those Pokemon that I, I guess, really. I don't know, consider to be a strong Pokemon. But he's, he is my strongest. He's also my highest level, but still. He's stronger than Bellsprout. Oh no, there's this guy too. First we battle, okay. Wait, how many Pokemon does he have? Oh, okay, he has two. I was like, is this the guy, is this the six Magikarp guy? But no, he has, he has two Pokemon. Magikarp does use Splash. And, yeah, that, that was, that was always gonna happen. <laughs> okay, Krabby, keep battling. Alright, so... I know I was kind of using Onyx there for a while, but uh, my official team right now is Eevee and Bellsprout. Which is a strange initial team to have. <laughs> Oh, and Magikarp. I can't forget about Magikarp. He is going to be on my team. I am going to use that Gyarados. I didn't pay that $500 for, you know... Oh crap, it's one of these people. Um, well, you know what, let me talk to Bill first. It's a Nidorino. I know, I know. Hopefully the battery will last at the end of this episode. No. <laughs> All right.
All right, time to uh, time to uh, time to run this thing. Oh, is that him? So I got some SS tickets from Bill. So, like, before you would just get, like, a single SS ticket, but here, there are a couple of tickets, so have fun with a friend. So, uh, okay. So are we able to like invite someone maybe perhaps? Or maybe oh maybe that's where like the the like the second person comes in. You know how you can like have two people playing? I don't know. All right, well, let's battle this person. Yeah, 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 let's battle. Whatever. Date spot, okay. Coach trainer Amala. Okay. And actually, it would be good if Bell Sprout could handle this because Eevee was actually weak against fighting types. Seismic toss. Seismic toss. I kind of want to see that graphic again. I feel like... I wasn't sure what that was. Like, I feel like I saw, like, Florida, but then, like, the rest of it didn't make sense to me. So even though he's weak to match up, uh... He's got that quick attack that'll make him go first, so... We got this. We got this. There you are. You suck. How dare you call yourself a coach. Oh, Seismic Toss. Okay. Um, so usually you can go back this way to, like, avoid all the trainers and stuff, but I actually am going to go back this way, um, to see if, I, I, I can't, I haven't been keeping track of how many Pokemon I've caught, but I'm going to go talk to that guy with the Charmander to see if I've caught 50 Pokemon yet. Okay, so I guess I haven't caught enough Pokemon yet. So, what I is gonna do is, uh, well first of all, I'm gonna call it quits here with this video. Okay, now I'm gonna call it quits. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and save. Yep, save the progress. Where do I only have 25? Or is that how many different Pokemon I have? I don't know. I know I, I know a bunch, I sent a bunch back to the professor. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. But anyway, um, I thought someone else had told me I had 32 Pokemon. Anyway, um, let, me, let me see if I can figure that out from here. Pokemon box. One of 31. Okay, 31. Okay, so I, I need more Pokemon, basically. So, anyway, um, that's pretty much it for here. So, thank you for watching, guys. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye.